everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. This is Mike with Mike Talks ASMR. How are you doing today? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? My good friends, my wonderful, awesome, amazing, spectacular clickmates. Today, 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 we, as in you and I, making up the click, are going to be playing Banjo-Kazooie for the Nintendo 64. Now, very early on in my channel's history, we were playing Banjo-Kazooie, we were doing a 100% walkthrough of it, um, but then format of the show changed and I had like preemptively recorded a bunch of footage from the game that didn't fit in with a new format and now we've got another format change so overall we're probably just gonna have to start over but I don't think you would mind I didn't think you would mind I didn't think you would mind because Banjo-Kazooie is so much fun it's one of my favorite games on the N64, and we are going to be playing it via an emulator. But that's okay, because I actually own a copy of it. But the reason being is that, although I do have the ability to play it on the actual hardware, the Nintendo 64, it kind of looks bad. Yeah, it just looks bad. And I want to give you, the viewer, the best possible viewing experience so we're gonna get on it now before we get on it though i want you to join the click and subscribe and hit the bell icon so that way you never miss an upload and also follow me on twitter at asmr mike because that is where i post all of the channel updates until we the click get a thousand subscribers and unlock the magical mystical community tab. We can do it together. Let's make 2021 the year of my talks ASMR. And I also want to thank Yorkshire Gold Tea for this delectable cup of tea, which I am now going to drink. Ah, that tastes so good. All right, everybody. Without further ado, I bring you Banjo-Kazooie, let's go. Okay, clickmates, let's get this started. But before we go, I need one more sip of that Yorkshire Gold Tea. Oh man, that is so good. I love that stuff. Okay, so, this is Banjo-Kazooie, the start of our grand adventure, if you could call it that. So, Bottles gets into a little, you know, insult war with us a little bit. And explains that uh, Gruntilda the witch kidnapped our sister, Tootie the bear. And she's trying to steal Tootie's looks and youth. Alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna skip the uh, little move tutorial. Because we already know what we're doing. Alright. And this is um, emulated, so expect graphical glitches aplenty. Although, at the very least, this is nice and high def. Although it still is in uh, 4x3 aspect ratio. It should still look pretty good, I think. Alright. Get on, Ecom. Peace. You collect enough of those and it increases your life bar. Let's get a little zoom out here and uh, head on up here. Get a little platforming section here. 
up and through. And we also get an extra life. Which can be helpful. Especially later on in the game. Now, I was going to play the Xbox version of this with the Xbox Game Pass. But, um, unfortunately, uh, I, don't, I don't own a Xbox One or a Series X or S right now at the moment. And although I have it for, uh, I have the Game Pass for PC, this is, I think, like the only game that's not on the PC version of Xbox Game Pass. So that's kind of a bummer. So what you should do is when you're done listening to this video or watching this video or whatever you're doing, you should contact Microsoft and tell them to get a move on and get this game on the Xbox Game Pass for the PC. Because it, it's a mega bummer that it's not on there. Okay, so uh, we're looking for the empty honeycomb. It's in one of these trees here. Nope, not that. Oh, it's over there. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. And up we go, and we nab it. And we get ourselves an extra honeycomb on our life bar, which is cool and helpful. So now we're going to go up the mountain. We're going to go up and 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 we meet bottles the mole up top and he's gonna tell us how to get into Gruntilda's lair which I thought was pretty obvious it's you know you walk across a bridge and you're in so in we go now we get this little cutscene. I think we can skip this. I'm not sure, maybe not. Nope, we can't. This fine contraption or so I'm told will make me young and duty old. Let me go, you fat hag. My brother will come kick your butt. Rescue you, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klungo, push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. Yes, Mistress Grunty, power is on. Soon be ready. Panjo, help. Alright, so it's not looking good for poor duty. There he is, the fun begins. By tricks and traps, we'll see who wins. So we get our very first chicky of the game. So high five, low five, high five, low five, fist bump. These are the things you gotta collect in order to advance through the game. You gotta collect chickies and you gotta collect notes. Notes will get you past these magical doors and you need the chickies to fill in the puzzle pieces to open the worlds. All right, so he's just telling us how to fill in the missing jigsaw pieces so all it wants us to do is hit a so let's just there we go all right so we easily open the very first world which is mumbo's mountain so gruntilda insults us by saying that that was an easy fit, and you know, she's right. That was pretty easy. All right, so that was a pretty good example of a graphical glitch right there. Okay, we get something called a Jinjo. Let's pack the crap out of these. 
these things. And we get these notes here. Now, if you've played the Xbox version only, one of the differences you'll note in this version is that uh, if you die, you lose all your notes and you gotta collect them all again. In the Xbox version, that doesn't happen. You keep your note totals. And uh, that becomes a pretty big difference in the games uh, later on. Especially when you get to, like, the last couple of worlds. Uh, Rusty Bucket Bay and uh, Click Clock Wood. So, we, uh, we fill our life here, and now let's get over to this gorilla, gorilla monsoon. Okay, his name's not gorilla monsoon, but okay. So you want to stand on these things just long enough for him to throw a orange at you. And now we've uncovered his hidden jiggy. Okay, so the jiggy's telling us that there's ten. Ten of them on each world. And that's including Gruntilda's lair as well. So, we gotta collect them all. Alright, so we nab an orange and we give it to this monkey over here. This monkey will thank us by uh, giving us a jiggy. So we get our second jiggy of the game. And now we're going to backflip up here. We're going to collect these. Whoops. Going to backflip up here. Now we're going to collect these eggs. And now we're going to talk to Bottles. And he's going to tell us, or teach us rather, how to uh, shoot eggs. And uh, that's going to come in handy in just a second. You can shoot them from above, or rather forward, or backward. And I think that you can uh, guess how that's done. <laughs> so let's get that ape so we nail him with an egg he hits us but uh we also counter attack I'm sorry I'm, I'm like slipping off of these uh platforms because I'm just not used to playing it on an Xbox controller <laughs> quite yet. I'll get used to it. I'll get used to it. You know, your muscle, your muscle memory gets used to the feeling of a certain type of controller after a while. And when uh, it doesn't get that same feeling, it kind of gets tricked. At least for me, anyway. So let's refill our life and climb up these stairs. These stairs, stairs, stairs. And collect these notes. <clears throat> and collect these notes. Get some eggs and we get a jiggy right here. Bumbo's Mountain makes it pretty easy overall to uh, get the jiggies and stuff like that. So we, we're going to talk to Bottles over here, and he's going to teach us a very useful move called the Talon Trot. And this will allow us to climb up steep slopes. It also allows us to walk a little faster, too. Uh, let's see. How do you, okay, there we go. So 
I had the uh, right, the right trigger mapped to the wrong button, so I got a little confused there. Every game, in my opinion, well, not every, literally every game, but a lot of games really need their own configuration in terms of the controls. So, like, the configuration for Banjo-Kazooie probably wouldn't work very well for Ocarina of Time, for instance. But I kind of, like, it, when I'm not playing Ocarina of Time on the N64, I kind of prefer using a GameCube controller for that, not an Xbox controller. That's just my personal preference. Okay, let's come over here. And we're gonna learn the final move. This is called the Beak Buster. Beak Buster, Beak Buster, Beak Buster, Beak Buster, Beak Buster, Beak Buster. Beak Buster, Beak Buster, Beak Buster, Beak Buster. And this is how to use the Beak Buster. Just like that. And that smashes stuff. And up here, and bam, just like that. For bam, for bam, for bam. Let's get this Mumbo's token. And we'll smash that and kill the goblin. And grab the Jinjo. And that was the last Jinjo of Mumbo's Mountain. So we get a Jiggy for collecting all of them. And we smash that and finally this one and we get a Jiggy. And now we go over here and we're going to feed the Juju. Before we feed the last one, we're going to jump up top here and grab this empty honeycomb. And that was too early. Okay, there it is. So we grab that jiggy. Let's go down this mountain here because there's other stuff here. Grab these notes. Grab this jiggy. What is that? Seven, eight, eight. Okay. That's our eighth jiggy already. We're doing very well. That's because we are the unstoppable force and the immovable object all rolled into one. We are click. Let's grab this mumbo token. Okay, I think that's enough mumbo tokens. I think three is enough for the first transformation, but before we do that, there's a jiggy up here, and we grab that, and that'll be jiggy number nine. So now let's head into here. Oh, no, he needs five. Wow, that's a lot. That's more than I thought. Okay. So we're gra gonna grab these notes. Alright. I know where to get them. I just didn't remember how many you needed exactly. So we're gonna come into uh, this place here. And there should be a mumbo token here. Yep. There's one right there. We gotta get into the... Whoops. That's the wrong C button. Alright. Let's get into the Talon Trot. And we nab our fourth token. And the fifth and final token is down near where Kanga is. So let's head down there. And 
there's a secret switch there that we have to uh, use the Beak Buster to flatten. So we'll come up here, we get the fifth and final Mumbo token, and here is the switch. And we depress it, and voila! There is the Jiggy. And that'll be the second Jiggy for Gruntilda's Lair. So now that we've gotten all of those Jiggies, uh, rather, all of the Mumbo tokens, we can now go to Mumbo, and he will transform us into a termite. Termite, 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 termite. Of course, after a brief introduction and explanation. So let's take another sip of that tea. Okay, so now we're going to turn into a termite. And that is going to allow us to uh, climb, what is it, Ticker's Tower, I think. I think that's the name of it, Ticker's Tower. It's Ticker's something. But we're going to climb that. And that's where the rest of the stuff is. So, up we go. This stuff is too steep. These platforms are too steep for even the talent trot. So that's why we had to become a termite. And this guy is guarding the notes like crazy good. But we got all 100 notes. And once you collect all 100, you don't need to worry about dying. Because it will save your best note record. So, if you get 100, no need to worry. So, we climb up. And that is the final jiggy for this level. And now we just got one more thing to collect. And it's right in Oh, the camera changed. There we go. Right in there. And that is the final, final empty honeycomb piece for Mumbo's Mountain. Okay, so now we're going to quickly exit the world here. Out we go. And, uh, Bottles is just explaining that once we exit the world... We don't get to take the notes with us, but since we got a hundred, that doesn't matter because it counts toward the best note record. So now we get our second Jiggy of uh, uh, Gruntilda's Lair. Okay, everybody. Whoops. Wow. Okay, well, um, I went to pause and the emulator crashed, so um, that's not good. But we were done with this video anyway, so I want to give you guys a high five, a low five, a high five, a low five, and a fist bump for finishing that level with me. And I hope that you all have a good night. Make sure you join the click by subscribing and hitting the bell icon. And also follow me on Twitter at ASMR Mike, because that's where I post all of the channel updates until we get the community tab, which requires 1,000 subscribers. So together as the click, let's make that happen. 2021 will be the year of the click, the year of Mike Talks ASMR. Have a good night, everybody, and I bid you all a fond farewell and adieu. Subscribe.